Hey, what's up guys? Diplex here again. Welcome back to Men of War Assault Squad 2. We're playing the Red Rising mod and of course we're back here with our post-apocalyptic series. This is the second last video here of this series, but do not fret. We will be starting a new series where we will just take everything that we've learned from this series and improve it in the next upcoming series. It's going to be somewhere else than in Russia. I'm thinking maybe Western Europe or perhaps even America. It all depends on the assets and maps that we have available so like central to eastern europe is definitely the easiest uh, setting to play this out in but we could do it in smaller scenarios and maybe we could do it crowd crowdfunded or whatever you want to call it where we take uh, maps uh, from the community like we all you know pull together and uh, create the series uh, with assets and maps and all i mean maps are the main reason why it takes a while to create these videos uh placing the soldiers down and customizing things and scripting don't take as much as actually making a map so if i can find a map that's pre-made just like this one which is called end of wars which is an amazing post-apocalyptic map then um you know that saves me a lot of time of course so what do we have today well we are about to witness the second siege and the second battle of Veliky Novgorod. The remaining new Russian forces here uh, from the previous battle are about to embark on this attack. And we see the T-90 MS here, the survi surviving tank. The only one out of the three surviving that previous battle against the Commonwealth. Um, they struck the Commonwealth outpost uh, that was heavily fortified and defended. I even had a, uh, a couple of homemade T-64s or T-62s or whatever it was along with the, uh, the BTR that they caught or captured, rather said, from the New Order uh, many, many weeks ago. Uh, but they destroyed them and went through. So here is that new little section, and they're ready to attack. Um, this is the remnants of that fight. This is pretty much all that new Russia has remaining. And right now they're here to attack the city. But little do we know until now and little did the new order and of course the commonwealth know that they're not really interested in this city now the new russian government that has been hiding in bunkers along with scientists and wealthy people in hundreds not thousands and tens of thousands um together with an elite company um called the the Fed federal guard which is obviously these people right here um they went underground with a small tank platoon and a couple of vehicles and obviously some, some good high-tech weaponry. They have the F-2000s. People are like, oh, what, what's an F-2000 doing in Russia? Well, you know, it's 2021 or whatever, so don't be too surprised. Things happen. And, um, you know, guns trade hands. And um, they're not actually looking to capture the city. It's rather pointless to them. The city is only really useful if you have an actual standing in this wasteland with lots of people that you want to house and give shelter to. What they're looking to get is what is ever inside this underground military base bunker and now this military base right here is currently unguarded the new order has even too few men to to uh, keep this under control they've gone here and scavenged for some of the trucks and weapons but in general it's very dead and they can't get into this bunker there's some really thick blast doors that they just cannot get through uh, a sign of their sort of incompetence or lack of protecting this and the ability to rather is because there's still a commonwealth flag in this section here still <laughs> flying above the city which is interesting but they have obviously taken up positions here in the um, sort of extended uh, military section of the city here which is the latest addition to it the rest is pretty much left as it has been since the war broke out uh, kind of unfinished in many places but they're ready to be attacked it's very empty on the streets people know that the war is coming a lot of people have left the city the morale is really low here with the new order so I'm thinking with the first, uh, sorry, with the new Russians, rather, attacking this, it'll be an easy entrance and most likely an easy win if they do this correctly. Um, I'm excited to see how that's going to look. We have obviously got some Commonwealth troops outside. This is not an official uh, attack from or by the Commonwealth. This is purely, and trust me on this, purely um, troops who have been sent to the outskirts of Veliky Novgorod to make sure that the new order does not escape um so we have two sections down here and they're kind of you know blockading the city and we're also going to see a little naval invasion which i'm super excited for this is going to be so cool i am so stoked for this we're going to click start and the first thing that's going to happen is obviously the russians up here moving out davai davai i'm going to actually delete this car because 
it just got to me that that thing could be in way of this tank. And this tank doesn't like to maneuver around things like the vehicle. This guy likes to go from waypoint to waypoint. And if he can't get through, then he'll probably get stuck. Not the smartest of tanks. And talking about that tank, what name did we get for it? I don't know. I was thinking the Fist of New Russia or something like that, or the Beast of New Russia. I did a little, not a contest, but a question uh, that, I, that I asked you guys in a previous video, like, what should we name it? And uh, I started recording this video now in this very, very own hour without um, going back to look what the most natural or popular boat was. But here come the boats. And these boats sure as hell are more interesting than the name of that tank. Even though it brought the victory to them, it might even be the most crucial thing in this battle. Let's go, let's go. Oh, we're being greeted by some of these New Order bastards. Suka. So we're kind of playing as the the Commonwealth in this section. Got a little eye for an eye thing going on right now. God, it takes you guys time to get in here, doesn't it? Oh. I think we had a little mishap over here. No, we're fine. I just thought we ran a propeller into a soldier trying to get up to the beach. But that was not the case. Forward, comrades! There we go. We killed the outer defense there quite easily. I'm going to let these guys kind of act on their own. They, um, I'm pretty sure that they're aware of the fact that there's a pretty big army there from New Russia coming in. That The one that actually killed off the entire outpost section there that defended or tried to at least defend the entrance to this city. Uh, that they now have obviously broken through. So, in general, in how it's always worked, even since medieval ages and warfare, we're going to look at this attack now, is that if, if, you're, if you've lost a city or a strategic location, you generally want to isolate the enemy in there uh, and besiege it again. So, in this case, what happened was when the Commonwealth lost the city, they don't want to give the New Order free reigns to do whatever they want in the area. And we've got a little firefight going down over here now. Which I intend to look at even more soon, but uh, the, the main star of this series and this battle is obviously the New Order versus New Russia attack, which I think most of you will enjoy. They're going to sneak through a lot of the defenses and kind of head straight for the heart here that the New Order is trying to defend. They are ready! <laughs> look at these men. Men of the New Order. Oh man, we haven't seen this in a long time since they've been just suffering from so many casualties and losses. Here they come! This is still extremely epic. A lot of F2000s coming in. Some deadly weaponry. And these guys are even pulling back. That is how low morale is. I think these men would rather try and flee the city than stand and fight. Oh man, cut down. Shot down and cut down. All kinds of down. <laughs> T90. Beast is rolling into the street now. How is the New Order going to react to this? Oh, well, the beast just fucked up a couple of his own soldiers, but that's, you know, what happens if you stand too close to it. Oh, shit. <laughs> it just, like, didn't underknock. Killed a lot of his own guys there. Yeah, don't don't stay too close to that tank. It's very, very dangerous in many ways. We see a lot of the New Order troops inside here. I think now's a good time to allow our soldiers outside the walls rather there aren't any walls though of course but the defense is here to move in and try and take advantage of the situation where there's a 1v1v1 conflict a three-part fight here more fighting is continuing back here we see a new order men being shot down as well by the Attacking forces here from the Novgorod Republic. Very nice to see, very nice to see. Lots of uh, New Order men still alive in the area. And as you can tell, obviously a lot of new Russia troops coming into. Whoa, we just fired a missile through the window of that building. That was amazing. We're taking fire from behind. Well, morale is super low now with the besieged troops here. Not only are they attacked by the technologically superior um, and elite 
new Russian troopers right here, which is pretty much the last they have. But they're also being attacked by most possibly their most hateful enemy, which is currently the Commonwealth, who's ridiculously pissed to have lost their capital. And I um, honestly, I feel them, of course. So we've had some firefights around here on the outskirts of the city. A couple of men down. We can quickly look at casualties, and it's very widespread, but we will go in deeper into detail with that later. Right now, we need to just need to continue witnessing this fight. I'm actually going to take this tank and drive it in that direction. Because that's just the coolest thing we could do right now. Troops from New Russia just making their way up in here. And it's just so cool. There's a lot of indoor fighting, but it's we can't really scale down the building. We'll have to look through it, kind of, by the windows. We see a lot of new Russian troops back there. Got some soldiers back here. Oh, shot down, to say the least. These tanks are rolling down the streets now. Oh, but that Russian fire truck sure caught you, didn't it? Unlucky, unlucky. So these guys are going to secure the left side of this town, where there's still some New Order and, of course, Commonwealth troops hiding. There are two men with that are fortunate enough to have RPGs available. That's interesting that I'd select them in that moment, too. Got a whole section back here that we need to pull back and cover, because here comes some of the armor. We've only heard stories of these monstrous tanks, these pre-war tanks, and now we get to see them up close. Oh. We both tried to fire a missile there at the enemies, but none had real effect. Ooh! Nice shot, comrades. But they are now dead. Look at this. Oh, the beast of New Russia. Cleaning house. That is a morale crushing sight. I can guarantee you that. It even stung a bit in my heart to see that poor New Order who's just been lost recently. They started out so strong, but they picked on too many. And uh, they found themselves in a rather peculiar situation there when the trade union and... Uh, Oh, playing with the Russian beast, <laughs> not gonna work. We have a car back here who's unfortunate enough to get stuck. It's a, it's a good car. We don't want it to be stuck for the rest of this battle. We'll get it into town somehow. That's not it. That's just another one that we happen to have in the same area. Looks uh, like the battle is coming to an end. Looks like we have a couple of the Commonwealth troops. They can try and do some damage to the defenders here. We also have some of the uh, New Order soldiers who are obviously intrigued by what's happening. And they're also going to try and make their last stand. They're not here to be completely hum humiliated and shat on. They obviously want to either escape. I think the men located in this part are better off retreating to that nearby military base because uh, there is not much rest for anyone in this area right now, the city. As we watch the beast here cut down the remaining soldiers defending the inside. We need to remember, though, these men do not have a single AT weaponry, no AP capacity. We're gonna run and try and grab that new Panzerfaust. The rest are heading back to the boats. There's no way and there's no point for the Commonwealth to try and attack this right now. But we've caught the tank in a peculiar situation. And this could be our only shot at this. This could be our only chance. We got it. Comrades, come back. We got it. There it goes true hero of this battle is down obviously they with the advanced communication that these men have it's unfortunate enough that it was left unguarded and unprotected by infantry but 
reinforcements will arrive to the scene. And luckily, it held through for the majority of the battle, and at least enough for it to um, have given them a victory. I've got a couple of these soldiers in this area, too, here. They're not quite done with the... Oh, man. They're not quite done with the New Order, either. Oh! Destroyed. Every single one killed by the AGS-30. Or uh, on this... <laughs> Seeker here. That was incredible. Wow. Amazing. They did some damage to the vehicle though. It seems to have been nope, it's fine. It needs repairs, but for the for the better part it's actually okay. Now we need to go to what we came here for. You all know what I'm talking about. There we go. It's a good try. I mean, destroying that the T90 was obviously a big part of this. But now it is down. The infantry around it could actually protect it enough. We're going to send these guys up to the cave entrance here. I'm a little mind spread. I can feel it myself. We have is this is this one guy? One lone new order soldier. Get the hell out of here, dude. I don't even know what you're doing there. You 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 managed to get out of the city, past the the Novgorod Republic and Commonwealth blockade, obviously, and you managed to sneak past the forces from New Russia. So, treat yourself, get the hell out. The New Order is pretty much destroyed. So these men are now going to head to that bunker, and we're about to see what shows up. <laughs> 